In this video, we will go over the print options and a few remaining features. But first, let's save our analysis file. Go to File, Save Analysis. Going to File, Print Design, we have a couple options. Let's print a long design. And select a printer. And here we'll see a preview of a multi-page printout. On the first page, we get a summary of all that was done. We have our project information, soil param parameters, geometry, and a result summary, as well as an image of the cross-section of the wall. The following pages include various design notes on the vertiblock units and the calculation method of the software. Selecting print short design, alternatively, prints only the first page. Either of these options prints the selection we have currently selected here. If you've created multiple se sections and you'd like to print them all, go to File, Print All Design Sections. Finally, let's look at the last couple features down here at the bottom. Here we have an option to change units from metric and back again. So we click once to go to metric and again to go back to imperial. And there's a note down here at the bottom that indicates which units we're currently in. We've already looked at the Save Defaults button. That saves the values in all fields to populate them each time you open the software. The Preference tab brings up some advanced options. And if you haven't already registered your copy of the software, you can do so by clicking on the Registration button here. That's all for the analysis side of the software. In the last few videos, we've seen how the VertiBlock analysis software can be used to model a section of a wall and calculate the resulting loads. In the next video, we'll take a look at the designer and see how the software can be used to lay out an entire wall and provide material estimates.